This is quite an interesting question, and I've seen something similar to this in many exam papers, but even like in grade 9, grade 10, grade 11, not the cos part, but this whole part here and here. What you do, guys, is the following. So they tell us that we are given this over here. So I'm going to show you how do you get from here to this, okay? It's actually quite easy, is we're going to say x plus 1 over x over here. Now here's the magic. All you're going to do is you're going to square this, okay? And let's see what happens when you square it. So that will become, you can put the two brackets like that, and that's going to become x squared plus, now you're going to multiply these together, which is x over x plus x over x plus 1 over x squared. And so that's going to give us x squared plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 over x squared. And so that's going to give us x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2. Okay, now check this out, guys. It's so awesome. We know that this part over here, if you look here, they've told us that that is equal to 2. So we can just say that that is equal to 2 plus 2, which is 4. So that means that when you square this, what does it give you? four. So how are we actually going to use this in our question now? Well, that's the following. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down this original question. Okay, then I'm going to square both sides. Because mathematically, if you square both sides, that is allowed. Now, we know what this part becomes, it ends up becoming four, but obviously, we're going to have to show them that. So it's going to become x plus one over x, and another x plus 1 over x. And then this part here just becomes 9 cos squared a. So then we're going to get x squared plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 over x squared. Remember, I showed you guys that just now, equals to 9 cos squared a. And then we're going to say x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared is equal to 9 cos squared a and then x squared plus 1 over x squared equals to 9. Whoops, I forgot the 2. Haha. <laughs> now, we know that this part, which is the same as this part, is equal to 2. They've told us that. So then we can go 2 plus 2 is equal to 9 cos squared a, and that's going to be 4 equals to 9 cos squared a. And so then if you had to divide, you would say 4 over 9 is equal to cos squared a. And so cos a is then going to be plus and minus the square root of 4 over 9. Remember, whenever you take a square root, it's plus and minus. And if you do that, you're going to get plus and minus 2 over 3. Now, some of you might be saying, yeah, but Kevin, look at your answer. It's not that. Guys, be careful. What we've just worked out is cos a. What do they want? Cos 2a. Ah. So you now, okay, so you've just worked out cos a, but we don't have cos, we're trying to find cos 2a. So you can use any one of these that you like, but I would definitely go with this one at the bottom because we don't know what sin a is. We only know what cos a is. So what we could then do is we could say that cos 2a is the same as 2 cos squared of a minus 1. Now we know what cos a is. Cos a is plus or minus 2 over 3. So I'm going to actually, you could do this in two individual questions, but I'm going to show you something quite interesting. So 2, now cos a can be plus or minus 2 over 3, right? Um, and then I just put the square on the outside like that minus 1. Now, whether we use plus or minus inside this bracket, because it is squared, the answer will always be positive. So we're going to get the same answer for both of those. So we don't have to go do the plus 1 and then the minus 1. You can, but you're going to get the same answer. And so if you had to go work this all out now, you're going to end up with 2 times 4 over 9 minus 1. 
And so what we would end up with as our final answer is minus 1 over 9.